Welcome to Beer Stories from Beer Brew House. This video is about water treatment and how much a difference that really does for a beer. Here I have a simple German Pilsner, one with hard water and one with soft water. It's the same beer, it's a split batch, and then I added uh, minerals to that one. Um, yeah, and there's a huge difference, so uh, yeah, check it out in this video. For a long time, I just brewed with RO water and followed the theory, uh, added all these kinds of uh, minerals to uh, get my water profile correct, but I've never really put it to the test. Uh, I just trusted the theory. But uh, I was asked uh, to do a presentation uh, for Danish beer churches about water treatment. And uh, for that, I brewed a German light lager, just a Pilsner. And I made a split batch, so I, uh, I, added, uh, I added minerals to uh, the other keg. This one was just a, a simple water profile, a low mineral water profile, a little bit higher chloride than sulfate. Um, you can see it here somewhere. And this one I just added as minerals. It's a, it's a West Coast IPA water profile. And I add minerals to a little bit of boiled water and put it in the cake. And then when I split the beer after fermentation, um, 12 liters in each, uh, each corny cake, I added it on top of all the minerals. So uh, yeah, so this one has a West Coast water profile with a lot of minerals. This is just a naked German lager with low mineral. So this has a higher sulfate ratio than chloride. And yeah, the beer judges, they could, they said it was two different beers. They could clearly taste the difference. Many of them actually prefer this one. Um, I kind of prefer this one. But yeah, it's an easy experiment. Do it yourself, find out what you like. It's, yeah, just make a beer, split batch in two cakes, add salts, pretty easy. Yeah, but this is where it gets interesting. It's two totally different beer. Split batch, same beer, just add minerals to this one. This is what I expect from a German Pilsner. It's uh, round, soft, it's a little bit sweet. I used whole melon, uh, so uh, it's kind of fruity as well, but uh, yeah, it's just a nice German Pilsner. This one. It's brighter in the hops. It feels more dry, feels more bitter. It feels way more dry, actually. And the hops are brighter, yeah. And I really get that West Coast vibe. I mean, if this was just dry hopped a little bit, you could easily convince people that this was a West Coast Pilsner. And this one is just a soft German, really traditional, Pilsner. Yeah. The difference is that huge. Um, one of my friends, he for the presentation, he also made a, a pale ale. Um, one with soft water, one with hard water, and there was a world of difference as well. So, okay, the theory said there was a world of difference. There is a world of difference. It's two totally different beer. You should try it at home, it's pretty easy. Just make a split batch, uh, let it ferment and everything, and then add minerals to one cake, and then not the other, and that's it. I've got a video on how to get started, a quick guide for, for using, uh, yeah, for water treatment. So uh, you can check that out if you want. If you have questions, write to me. Other than that, just have a happy brewing out there. <laughs>